right here. Got him ring necked him. Henry Clay tonight has had two free throws. They've had five, two good ones out of five attempts. A nice pass, but the shot isn't made, and the foul is on Griffith. A male, that is his second. Still a common foul, but after this now, Henry Clay will be shooting the bonus. Elliott over to Craven Leach. Here's his one-hander, no good. Misses badly. I think Henry Clay's beginning to panic a little. Mail has it. Hendricks handling the ball. Gives behind him to Walter Jones. Almost stolen, but it's regained by Mail, and the foul is committed by Larry Jenkins. That's his third. I'm beginning to think we're going to see a lot of free throws in this one. As Henry Clay now is in a desperate situation. Willie Hendricks, who is two for two at the line, will be up again. Hendricks has eight points on the night. He's a substitute and not much of a score during the regular season, but he's had quite a bit in this tournament. Turner with an almost unbelievable shot gets his 15th point. 52 36, and time is running out. In it goes to Leach. It won't count if it goes. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Louisville Mayo 52, Henry Clay 36. I think it's tough on 16, 17 year old kids. How about the officials? These guys aren't 16 and they make just as many, many trips down the floor as the players do. They stay in real good shape. Of course, we might point out, Joe, now for the first time, this floor has not been shortened. It's a 94 foot floor. A high school floor is 50 feet wide by 84 feet long. College floor, 50 by 94. It they has, did not shorten it this year. It has been shortened in my memory every time the state tournament has been played until now. Talk about a disappointing quarter. It was turned out to be that for Henry Clay in the third. They got only four points. Couple of uh, field goals. Hendricks was trying to throw it out off the legs of Evans, but he didn't succeed. So Henry Clay will get it. Joe Corden, unofficial stats. Mayo is 17 of 44 for 38%. Henry Clay 17 of 42 for 40.5. Same number of field goals. Henry Clay was two of 15 for 13% that quarter. Richard Williams in the game for the first time for Henry Clay misses. And we got a jump ball. Now I think you have some official stats. Right. It's true. 17 field goals for each team. Free throws, Henry Clay, 2 of 5, and Mayo, 18 of 25. That's the difference. 16 points difference right there. Uh, turnovers, Henry Clay, 13, Mayo, 12. Ball knocked away by Evans, and it's regained, however, by Mayo as Walter Jones gets it. Richard Williams in for Henry Clay, number 24. And it's put up and in. I didn't get the man who scored the goal. And I'm not sure the official table did. Okay, Jones, they say. Now they finally announce it as Jones. Shot from outside by Evans, way over the mark. And Jones chases it down for Mayo. 54 36. Mayo now pretty much in command as we're a minute deep into the final quarter. Mayo has a big 13 rebound edge too. Turner puts up the shot. It's no good. And the foul has been called on Elliott. Donnie Moore coming back into the ball game for Henry Clay and Williams stay was brief. He goes back to the bench. That's Kenny Elliott's third personal foul. Here's the foul Joe. Can't tell for the basket. 
Bobby Turner up for the free throw makes it good. He has 16 points. Since the half, Henry Clay has only four points. Second one good by Turner. And we have only 6.56 remaining to be played. Elliott over in the corner to Donnie Moore. He's going to fire it up. No good. Craven leaps. Knocks it away, but Mayo gets it behind the back by Bobby Turner. He tries to drive into some heavy traffic. Gives it over to Hendricks, who misses, but it's Super followed up fight. by Daryl Griffith. Super followed by Daryl Griffith. And that puts Griffith in double figures. Coaches preseason pick number one player in Kentucky, Daryl Griffith. 58-36 is the male lead as they begin to run away with it. Evans finally gets another field goal. That's his first score of the second half. He has 14 points. 58-38. Inside it goes to Anderson. He tries to fire a bullet underneath. <laughs> and Bobby Turner turns around as if to say, what do you think I'm made of? He wasn't two feet from him, and he really <laughs> rifled it. So Henry Clay gets possession. Henry Clay... Uh, Played so well today and started this game so well, but they're going rather native. As the shot is missed by Evans. Over to Jones, 12 footer, drops in. Walter Jones has 14, far and away above his average, about double. Here's Donnie Moore with the shot, no good. Turner has the rebound for Mayo. He comes out of there, numbers about even. He holds up and shoots from 15 good. And it's beginning to be a route. Bobby Turner has 19, 62-40. Timeout called by Henry Clay. Timeout on the floor with the score, Louisville Mail 62, Lexington Henry Clay 40. Mayo fans beginning to celebrate a little, maybe prematurely, quite possibly not, however. And we've noticed a little bit of celebrating by the Mayo players in the huddle as well. Well, Joe, the second half, Henry Clay has hit three of 21 shots for 14.3%. So if there's ever been a team that's completely collapsed on their shooting, it's Henry Clay this second half. Mayo's well, hitting 58.8 the second half. They don't seem to be following any sort of plan at all. Well, we were blocked out by the official. We have to wait for the announcement. Leach, they say. Craven Leach gets his sixth point, 62-42. Anderson with a bounce pass to Griffith. Here's the shot, good. And when the game gets to this shape, that's when Darrell begins to put on a little show. He, he'll he give you some good moves here, I imagine, in the last remaining five minutes of this game. Evans has it knocked away and stolen by Hendricks. And here comes Mail again. Over to Griffith. Here's the behind the hand pass. And Jones misses the shot. Super pass anyway. <laughs> if it works. A behind the pass pass is good if it works. And that one did. That he had almost lost the ball. Now he gets it back. Gives over to Leach. That was a nice play. That, that was nice for Henry Clay. And it's eight points for Leach. 64-42. John Shelby's in the game now for Henry Clay. We hadn't picked him up until this moment. And here's the foul called on Evans. That is his third. Here comes Jeff Mack back into the game, still limping slightly. Willie Hendricks leaves. Also into the game is Wallace Garner, number 52. He replaces Kevin Anderson. 
Walter Jones. Let's watch this behind the back pass. There she goes. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Right on the money. But the shot was missed. Here's a foul on Turner on the missed free throw by Jones. That is his third. So we'll go to the other end of the floor where Henry Clay will have some shots. Mail up by 22 and things are pretty well packed away for Mayo's fourth Kentucky State Championship. To the line will be Thomas, Billy Thomas, who has four points tonight. Puts it in. Perhaps, as we've mentioned several times, really one of the determining factors in this game in the early part was the free throw situation. It's gone beyond that now, of course. Mayo was just getting a big advantage in free throws. Alley oop to Griffith, but he misses on the shot after taking the pass from Mack. Here's Shelby put using the backboard, but it's no good. Garner rebounds for Mayo. Long length of the floor pass to Griffith, and he is fouled. It'll be no shot. John Shelby got him out on the floor. You know, Joe, Mayo was state runner-up both in 73 and 74 the last two consecutive years, and they put it all together, and they've won it this year. Five straight years they figured in this championship. There's the foul right there. Mayo substitute as we return to live action. Number 22, Victor Yarbrough, and Bobby Turner leaves. We don't know whether he'll be back. He has 19 points. Daryl Griffith up for one in the bonus. No good. And Thomas rebounds for Henry Clay. First free throw missed by Griffith. Here's the alley oop the other way. Leach gets the bucket and he's fouled. No, they just ruled goaltending, but it went in. Leach with 10 points all the way the other way. Jones lays it in. Racehorse basketball now just freelance. 66-46 male. As Henry Clay appears to have thrown in the towel. Shelby with the outside long one. It's good. John Shelby's first two. 66-48. Henry Clay pressing. Craven Leach tries for the steal, but Jeff Mack gets it into front court and double dribbles. It'll go over to Henry Clay again. 320 remaining. The Mayo fans now noticeably beginning to whoop it up down to our left. Shelby thinks about a shot but gives it back to Elliott now to Evans and he is fouled by Darrell Griffith. That's Griffith's third. And coming into the ball game, Tyrone Cunningham, and he is replacing Walter Jones. Number 21 in, number 12 out. To the free throw line for Henry Clay will be Keith Evans. His first trip up there tonight, he'll have two. Well, there's timeout on the floor with the score. Mayo 66, Henry Clay 48. As play is resumed, Evans at the free throw line for Henry Clay. And you know, you know, Joe, uh, Henry Clay and uh, Lexington Region 11 has nothing to be ashamed of. Henry Clay simply could not hit the bucket the second half. 
And they, they met the preseason coaches pick to win the state championship, Mill High School. So I think that, uh, that everybody should be proud of Henry Clay as everybody should be proud of Mill High School. Rebound by Thomas, but he has the ball knocked away. Leach puts it up, it won't go. Thomas struggling for it again, and he goes to the floor. Thomas shaking up a little bit on the play. And he may be replaced. Coming into the ball game for the Blue Devils for the first time tonight, Charles Sweat. Thomas up, trying to shake off the injury. Whether Thomas is going to leave. Sweat is into the game, but he didn't replace Thomas. Evans went to the bench. Now coming back into the ball game is the starter, Larry Jenkins. And Thomas will leave. It'll be Henry Clay's ball, knocked out by Mayo. Loops it into Sweat. Now to Elliott, or rather to uh, Shelby. Now Elliott. From 25 feet, no good. Sweat gets the rebound. Turns has it partially blocked. Mayo comes off with it as Garner pulls it down. Just 245 remaining, a big Mayo lead, 66 to 49 in the state championship game. Jeff Mack with a two pointer. He now has four for his night's work. Elliott gives over to Shelby, who drives and puts up the left handed shot. It is no good. It'll be a charging foul on Shelby. That's his second. Okay, here it comes right here. Wallace Gardner has got more nerve than I've got. I believe I stood there and took that charge. <laughs> well, we're getting all sorts of substitutions. Kenneth Braxton is in for Mayo. Let's check who is on the floor. Braxton, Garner, Cunningham, Mack, about all we can pick up right now. Garner with the free throws. Misses on the front end of the one and one. Now Elliott gets it for Henry Clay, but it's re-stolen. Over to Garner, and this one's good. Garner's first two points of the night. Elliott with the ball for Henry Clay. It's 70 to 49. 21-point advantage. Sweat passes inside the leech, and he misses on the shot. And here's a foul called on Yarbrough of Mayo. Coming back into the Henry Clay lineup is Richard Williams, who saw very brief duty earlier. And Kenny Elliott leaves. Rather disappointing night for Kenny in scoring. He had only six points. They all came in the first half. Jenkins up now for the one and one. Hands the first, so he has the second. A seven-point night so far for Jenkins. And I'm sure you can hear the Mayo fans celebrating. Jenkins hits the second. And it's 70 to 51. Two minutes exactly to go. Jeff Mack, guarded by Shelby. Knocked away by Jenkins, and he goes into the press table. Johnny Carrico of the Courier Journal makes a nice catcher in that acrobatic act. Over he, there. And, he and Bob Wyatt, the Courier Journal, <laughs> both had to get out of the way. Ball tossed in and taken by Garner. He puts it up, no good. He's foul. Foul is on Richard Williams. Garner up probably for two. It will be two. Just playing it out now. It's just a matter of what the final margin is going to be. Garner misses, has another coming. He's 0 for 2 in the free throw department. Misses again, and the rebound taken by Henry Clay as Jenkins pulls it down. Gives over to Sweat. Mayo set up in a zone this time. Jenkins has it again. Puts up a 10 footer that's good. Larry Jenkins has 10 points. And Joe is only two senior starters on this Mayo 10. Walter Jones, number 12, Kevin Anderson, number 45. So Mayo should be tough next year. 
No basket, steps call before Garner got the ball. It's basically a junior team. Coming into the game now for Mayo is Terrence Everett, number 32. As Coach Wade Houston and Coach Al Pruitt have pretty well emptied their benches. Very few starters still on the floor. Sweat in the front court for Henry Clay. Bounce pass over to Williams. Here's his shot. No good. Male rebounds. Garner fires it out, but Sweat steals it for the Blue Devils. Passes off to Leach. He can't get it in. And is chased down in the corner by Henry Clay by Shelby. Now to Leach again. Puts up the shot. It's good. Probably will count. And the foul is on Terrence Everett. His first. And it is a good basket by Leach. 12 points for Craven Leach. He'll be going for 13 up there. 70 we 55. Well, it's 15 points. There's the replay of that particular bucket and foul. Leach misses. 15 points doesn't look bad. Actually, the, the score is a little deceiving. Ball lost out of bounds by Mayo as Everett let it get through his hands. Less than a minute, 52 seconds. Another substitute in. Charles Wilkerson and Daryl Doty in for Henry Clay. All substitutes now. Wilkerson with a long shot, good. Well, it didn't take Charles long, did it? That's his first two points to score in a state tournament. He played the first game, didn't score, didn't play the last two games. So I know he's going to be tickled over that. 33 seconds to go as Cunningham misses. Garner gets the rebound. It won't go. Put up by Yarbrough and in. Victor Yarbrough's first two points of the night. Charlie Sweat with it. And here's the outside shot by Shelby missed. Mail has it. Just 10 seconds. Yarbrough on the lay-in on the Mail fast break for his fourth point. 74-57. And Wilkerson puts up the shot. That's and, good. They counted. And it is good. Wilkerson will get credit for his fourth point. And Mail is the state champion, fourth time, their first all-over victory since 1971. And they were the tournament favorite, and they're going to go through their victory parade. Tom Sutton, we know we have here a steal, sort of, on the all-tournament team. We'd like to get it in just very quickly. Okay, taking a look at it right now, uh, Daryl Griffith from Mail High School, then Flanoil Crook from Central. Kenny Elliott, Henry Clay, Bobby Turner, Mayo, Jerry Britt out of Warren East, Kevin Evans, Keith Evans, Henry Clay, Donnie Mason, Shelbyville, Herbie Stamper, not Central, Daryl Yarborough, Central High School, Christian Connings, Victor Jordan, Gary Devoto, Newport Catholic, and Vince Chambers from Shelbyville. All right, thank you, Tom. And Mayo High is the new state champion of boys basketball in Kentucky. The final score, Mayo 74, Henry Clay 59. We've enjoyed being with you. Hope you've enjoyed today's state tournament action. Joe Knight speaking for Harden McLean and Tom Sutton for our entire crew at Freedom Hall in Louisville, and we bid you a very pleasant good night. <laughs>